Soulful Warriors, welcome back to our self-care Saturday. And today we are continuing our conversation about the energy centers known in Sanskrit as chakras. In our last meditation, we have gotten in touch with the root chakra, the one at the very bottom of our body, at the base of the tailbone with legs as extensions. Uh, that energy center that is responsible for our stability, survival, for our um, sense of belonging in the world. Today we are moving up the body into the area of the hips, which is the space where we find our sacral chakra. Uh, it is known to have orange energy color and its element is water. Uh, so the uh, chakra is associated with the understanding of fluidity. Uh, on the energetic level, it is known to govern our emotions. Right, so again, that fluidity of water, fluidity of emotions, being able to process emotions and not repress them and get them stagnant and stuck, all of that is what this center is responsible for. It is also responsible for our desires, our sensuality, our sexuality, our ability to open up and experience pleasure in our body and our life. Uh, it is also the center where our creativity is born from. It is very intricately related to our ability to experience pleasure and fun and enjoyment and also to our expression of sensuality. Um, it is also known to be associated with our abundance. Uh, so a lot of work, especially in the root and sacral chakras, are done when we are experiencing mindsets of scarcity, like there's not enough for us and for others, whether it be uh, anything, time, money, love and care. So anytime we're in this mindset of scarcity, working with um, the energy of abundance that resides in our sacral center is very, very beneficial. So uh, I'll introduce you to some of the attributes of this chakra so you can kind of get a little bit more of an idea of um, how to work with it, when to work with it, how to identify any imbalances. Um, so this center is the seed of your power to procreate, but also to create in the world, to dream up creative endeavors that flow from the abundance that resides in your sacral chakra. So the sacral chakra attributes are creativity, abundance, uh, healthy relationships, pleasurable, enjoyable relationships, sexuality, desire, feelings, empathy, our well-being, our connection to others, polarity when it comes to uh, our relationships, sensuality, awe and enthusiasm. So it's a very, very important center for us to work with. Uh, it, when I teach yoga classes, oftentimes people complain that their hips are very tight. There is a very direct and strong relationship between our ability to express our desires, express our sensuality, uh, be open to receiving, be open to pleasure, and our ability to freely express ourselves and our emotions and how much tightness we experience in the hips. A uh, hip joint is the biggest joint in the body and it, the relationship works both ways. When we are uh, sedentary a lot, uh, when our hips get tight, our emotions get tight. And vice versa, when our emotions are not processed, when we are experiencing an emotion but we think it's not appropriate to express it or we don't know an, appro an appropriate time and place to express it and we just stuff it down, all of that stagnation in the emotional energy creates a lot of tightness in the hips. No other set of yoga poses is as challenging for people, in my experience as a yoga teacher, as hip openers. When we get to the hip opener phase of the practice, this is when people start getting fidgety. This is when people start getting frustrated because all of these things that they've trampled down are beginning to come out as they are releasing tension in the muscles. All that energy, all that stagnation gets stored in the tissues of the body. And as you're starting to stretch and release, all of that starts to come out. I have seen um, when I've attended 
workshops and classes of some really prominent masterful yoga teachers in a very deep hip opener people would have these massive emotional breakthroughs they would cry they would um, just completely release and let go and be reborn a completely new person after the practice is over so it's a very powerful very important center for us to work with especially if you have a lot of tightness in the hip joint but also um, on the sort of the other end of this relationship if you find it hard to express your emotions uh, if you tend to um, kind of push your emotions down um, all of these all of these recommendations that are shared with you today all of these exercises are going to be very very helpful so um, we are going to go into a little guided visualization and meditation and once we are done I will share some recommendations just things in daily life that you can do in order to help your, uh, yourself open up this energy center so get comfortable whether it is sitting on a cushion or a block um, on, on, in a chair, on the couch, doesn't matter. Lying down is great as well. Once you get comfortable, begin to allow your body to relax, arriving into the here and now with both your body and your mind. Take a deep breath in, into your belly. Allow your belly to expand like a balloon. Then fill up your lungs. As you exhale it out, flutter your eyelids down. Come to close your eyes. Take a couple of more deep breaths just like that, inhaling first into the belly, then into the lungs. And release it in the same way. First empty the belly, then empty the lungs. This order of breathing allows us to truly turn on our parasympathetic nervous system and get the body into a relaxation response. As you familiarize yourself with this order of breathing, see if you can make your exhales a little longer than your inhale. This also taps into the relaxation, the parasympathetic response. The more relaxed your body is, the easier it is to have smooth flow of energy and open up and release stagnations. A couple more deep breaths. Fill up the belly first, then the lungs. Exhale from the belly first, then from the lungs and make your exhale slow so it takes a little bit more time than your inhalation did. Sense the change of energy as your body begins to relax, as your mind begins to let go. And then gently bring your attention, your awareness to your hips. To the area in the very center of your hips, your pelvic bowl. And at first, just awareness. Note if you sense any tightness, any discomfort. Any inequality or unevenness. Maybe one sits bone is grounding into the floor a little bit more than the other. Observe any smallest hints and facets of sensation.
And then in the center of your pelvic bowl, visualize an orange ball of light pulsating, shining, completely alive with energy. As you continue to take deep breaths all the way into your belly, all the way into the bottom of your pelvic bowl, it's as if you are using your inhales to feed this energy, allowing this ball to slowly grow bigger and stronger and pulsate with a little bit more aliveness. Feel how this ball of energy spreads warmth, tingling, or just a sensation of pleasure through your entire hip joint, pelvic region, the bottom of your belly. How there is a certain sense of fluidity that begins to originate in your hips. Continuing to direct your breath into that orange ball of light, orange ball of energy pulsating in your hips. Silently repeat these affirmations to yourself. I am connected with the rhythm of my feelings. I am happy with my creative flow. I am ready for trusting new experiences and pleasure. I am open and honest with myself about my passions. I am free to express in my own way. I enjoy feeling pleasure in my body. I am radiant, beautiful, and strong. I enjoy a healthy and passionate life. After you have allowed these affirmations, these powerful statements to resonate through your body, just tune into how you feel. Notice any shifts in how your body is holding itself, any change in sensations in your pelvis. Maybe there's a little bit more aliveness, a little bit more excitement running through your veins. And finally, in your mind's eye, I welcome you to imagine one thing that you have really been desiring. It doesn't matter which area of your life, health, career, relationships, family, recognition, it doesn't matter, something that you've really wanted. And visualize it as being yours. 
very often we are encouraged to stifle our desires, being told that they're not realistic or not appropriate or just any of those things. And even as children, we just we just want what we want, but the training that we receive is that, well, the reality is just not like that. Allow yourself just for a few breaths, for a few moments in your mind, transcend what quote unquote reality allows you and just imagine that most wished desired thing being yours. And notice how that makes you feel. Very gently turn the corners of your mouth up. Give yourself a little smile, knowing that your desires are on the way to you because you have aligned with the energy of already having them. Take a deep breath into your belly. Fill up your chest. Exhale and lower your chin down towards your chest. Bow your head to your heart. Gently blink your eyes open, allow the eyes to readjust to the light, and then lift your eyes back to the horizon. Hopefully you have been able to feel a shift in your energy, a shift in your state. Some of the recommendations that I have in terms of awakening and um, caring for the sacral energetic center are uh, anything that helps you open up in the hips. So dancing, maybe you're cooking, maybe you're just in, even in the car and you can just turn on your favorite music and move your hips to create fluidity in the hip joint. That is a wonderful way to move energy in your sacral chakra. chakra. Laughing, having fun, watching, watch a funny movie um, or a comedy, some kind of a comedy show that always makes you laugh. Um, making something, so expressing your creativity, not being afraid to express your creativity. It doesn't matter if um, anybody will see it. It doesn't matter if it's anybody will uh, like it or appreciate it. It's just you expressing your creativity and making something out of your creative center. Um, eating orange colored, juicy, luscious fruits also helps energetically feed the center. Again, the color of this chakra is orange and the element is water, so anything juicy. Being in contact with a water element, swimming, is also very helpful. Um, and another really good way uh, in which you can, again, awaken the center and especially the part of it that is responsible for healthy desiring of things in life is either writing a list of your desires and just kind of sending Cinderella to rehab. <laughs> um, there's a book, The Power of Receiving, and there's an exercise in this book. It's called uh, Send Cinderella to Rehab. And it's basically this idea that don't, you know, don't be the Cinderella, don't, don't be ashamed of wanting things. Like send her to rehab and just write out like at least a hundred things that you want. Anything from super silly stuff like I want a new case for my iPhone that's all glittery and pretty to I want a vacation in the Bahamas, wh whatever that might be. Uh, but just taking that um, sort of shame for our desires just out of the picture and writing your desires or creating a vision board. That's another one. If you're a very visual person, that kind of combines the two. Um, it's, uh, you know, both creating something, expressing your creativity through putting the vision board together, making it uh, nice and pretty, and also, um, you know, getting in touch with your desires. Um, if you are a lover of essential oils like I am, a blend that you can create either for your diffuser, I have that running in the diffuser, or to apply topically is um, three drops wild orange, two drops lang lang, and one drop cinnamon. It is so yummy. It is so delicious. I recommend you try it. Thank you so much for joining me for Self Care Saturday. Namaste.